Shalom, beloved. A word. Race is not always given to the swift, nor is the battle to the strong, nor yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Many of us, beloved, as we're going through this transformation, as the Most High is growing us in the word, as we're transforming and changing and being reshaped in this walk as he's preparing us. One of the things that you have to keep in mind at all times, don't watch the other person. Don't try to gauge yourself based on what somebody else is doing. If they seem to be, they seem to be in front of you, if they seem to be moving faster, if they seem to be more enlightened, no beloved. Because understand that the race is not too swift. In our lives, we have all grown up and seen people that seem like they were just moving quickly. And we saw time and chance happen to where suddenly that person was gone or they were out of the race for whatever reason because time and chance happened to us all and it happened to them. And we realized here I was competing with this person, never knowing what was coming down the road and that the only thing I need to focus on is working out my salvation with fear and trembling and not trying to worry about what the other person is doing, okay? Here's another thing. Sometimes we're in situations and don't recognize that there comes a point that this battle isn't ours. This isn't our fight. We're looking at 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15. And he said, hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, unto you. Some of you below need to hear this. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours, but God's, it's the Lord. That great multitude sometimes, beloved, it doesn't always have to be an army of people. That multitude can be an army of problems, an army of stress, an army of fear, an army of our past behaviors, okay, that we don't know how we're going to work this thing out because the closet is full of skeletons, the bones are sticking out of the wall, but The Lord has called you to be his own. He's called you home, beloved. And the battle mm, is not yours. See, sometimes we get to fighting something. And we have to know and recognize when it's time for us to lay our weapons down and trust in the Lord that this one belongs to the most high. Because the battle is not yours, beloved. Okay? Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. There can come so many problems at one time. It's a multitude, like an avalanche. And everything you see can say is over. And in one move, one blessing, he just turns it around. A lot of us think that if we move quicker than the next person, Understand this is out of the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. No, it's not. Mm -mm. You can have people that look like they're winning in the beginning, and they seem like they stand in front all the way through, and then all of a sudden you just overtake them, okay? Nor the battle to the strong. I have witnessed fights that according to strength, I was ready to run for help for the other person. 
for the little guy. Like, oh my God. And then the little guy did something that I ended up praying and hoping the big guy would make it out because the battle is not always to the strong. Beloved, it's to him that endureth to the end, to him and to her. I want to show you something. I tried to go back far enough in this video that I want to share. Therefore, now I'm in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 1, but I wanted to give you a visual of something we see every day in our lives. And we need to recall those moments to understand spiritually it's the same thing. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race set before us. We have to keep going, okay? Don't worry about what's on the right nor to the left, but straight ahead, beloved. I want to share this video of this race. We see somebody all the way at the end. Okay, but remember, the race is not given to the swift, but to the one that endures. All right, and I'm going to play it. She wasn't even sure she won. She wasn't, if if we go back earlier in the film, she was losing by all terms of what we consider winning, okay? She was losing. I'm going to bring it back to show you how far behind she was. Some of us, we need encouragement, beloved, that... We can't set our mark according to what other people are doing. We're growing in the Lord. We're learning his word. We're in this walk and we mean it. And this battle, this race is not to the swift. It's to the one that endures to the end. Because we can remember growing up. There are people we set out with growing up. And by the time. We made it out of high school. A lot of those same said people had been called home to glory. They never made it out of their teen years. And they always seemed to be in front of us, okay? Some of us, by the time we got to the end of our 20s, a lot of people that we thought were way out in front fell so far behind or circumstance happened to them. And we end up getting these epiphanies of, oh, my, my God, I said everything I did according to this person, not knowing they weren't going to make it. Some of the people that you thought were so above, so far in front, you see later on in life and you end up praying for them. You end up trying to give them a helping hand. But when you were younger, <clears throat> that was the person you admired. That may have been the person you patterned yourself off of. But that race, beloved, the difference between them and you, you were in that race for the long haul. I'm going to show you this race. Remember, the race is not always to the swift, but to the one that endures. To the Afrique, elle a perdu un peu de temps, Florian, ça va être dur. You ça va être très dur parce que le podium est dessiné là-bas. Ouais, ouais, c'est les favoris. Ouais, ouais, et il n'y aura pas de podium pour le 4x4 français winner. parce que là, on vient pas. Les Russes, l'Ukraine et la Grande-Bretagne. C'est vrai qu'il y a eu un problème dans le trafic, mais que Florian a perdu du temps. Et on va regarder la bagarre entre l'Ukraine et la Russie, avec toujours la possibilité pour un dernier, alors que Floria donne tout ce qu'elle a, mais malheureusement, ce ne sera, ce sera pas suffisant. Ça revient fort, elle revient fort. La est en train de craquer. La route est en train de craquer. Je pense que ça va être juste, mais elle va tout donner. 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 
Quelle ligne droite Quelle ligne droite Il n'y a pas que la ligne droite, c'est quelqu'un qui s'en met Quelqu'un qui s'en met Elles sont championnes d'Europe Elles sont championnes d'Europe C'est énorme J'ai jamais vu ça Non Patrick Je n'ai jamais vu ça Incredible finish, beloved An incredible finish, beloved It's to the one that endures a lot of us. We see people so far in front. We may see people studying, maybe for whatever reason right now, the most high. He puts them where he wants them because that's where they need to be. You are exactly where you need to be. And understand, it's not over. You just got to keep going. Don't give up. Don't look at other people. When the most high is working on you. If you know seven scriptures and they may know half the word of the Bible and other books, you can take those seven scriptures because the spirit is on you and ignite an entire city with them. It's not to the swift, beloved. It's not to the swift, nor is the battle to the strong, but to the one that is. Endure, endure. Many of us, we get discouraged. Many of us, we see people getting more than us. We see people getting in front of us. We see other people, they might even be booing us. They should be supporting us and they supporting the other guy. And we don't understand. I thought you was on my side. Can't look to the left. Can't look to the right. Straight ahead and endure to the end, beloved, to the end. Even when it looks like you're not going to make it. Why? Because in many times, many cases, the battle's not sure. See, that faith, that faith that I won't quit no matter what faith, you're going to be the one telling the story. You're going to be the one standing in front. You're going to be the one with that crown of glory. You're going to be the one that the Most High says, well, Done, my good and faithful servant. Well done. Well done. Well done indeed, beloved. It's not to the swift, nor is the battle to the strong, but to the one that endures to the end. And some of you are fighting battles that are not yours, beloved. They belong to the Lord. They belong to the Lord, beloved. Okay, listen. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15. Hearken ye all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. Multitude of what? Issues, problems, fears, worries, bills. Doesn't matter. See this bad. This one, this ain't yours. This one ain't yours. It's the Lord's. It's the Lord. And what do you have to do? Mm, remember now. Remember. This is what you got to do. And let us run with perseverance. The race set out before us. That's what you do. That's what you do, beloved. It's not to the swift. To the one that endures. To the end, beloved. To the end. Don't worry about who's in front of you. Don't worry about the situations upon you. Some of these situations, they belong to the most high. They belong to the most high. This guy, his signature on it's too big for you. Nothing too big for me. See, what's impossible for man, all things are possible for me. We are sheep, beloved. And just like I showed you before, there's some situations where the sheep falls on their back. They can't even put themselves back up on their feet. But the most high, that, that, that good shepherd comes along and turns us over. That battle, that struggle, that war you're fighting, you got to give it to the one it belongs to. Others, we're running in a race and we think we're trying to set our mark by the other guy, by the other one. They got so much. They did this. They did that. And all I got, you got all you need. You got the most high. You have the word of the most high. You have the Holy Spirit. You have everything you need. As a matter of fact, you are in glory to glory, victory to victory. Just stay the course. Stay the course, beloved. Brothers and sisters, this is a word to edify, 
a word to let you know, again, this battle is not, it's not to the strong. No, it's not. Mm -mm. This race, it's not to the swift, beloved. No, mm -mm. you have to endure. That's all. Just endure, beloved. Endure to the end. Just like that racer did. She looked like she was losing. She looked like she lost. And sometimes when you're going through this race of life, you're going to hear them people in the stands and of your life cheering your defeat. You know you lost. She losing. No, beloved, you went in. You, do you see how amazing it is? Actually, to watch somebody look like they're losing and to come back and take it. Actually, hmm, the reward is greater. The reward is greater when everybody jump up and go say, Ma, I thought you, you can't do it. Yes, beloved. It's not to the swift. It's not to the swift. It's to the one that endures to the end. To the end. And just like that racer went across that finish line, she believed. And that's all it took because she knew to whom she belonged, who she was and to whom she belonged. It's not to the swift beloved, no, to the one that endures. And some of you are fighting a battle is not yours. It doesn't matter if you're surrounded by a multitude of issues. There is one who, what is impossible for us, all things are possible with him. All things, all things, not some things. See, where it said all, all, beloved. Be encouraged. A word. Shalom.